meow. <laughs> For those cat lovers out there, including myself, here is your kitty cat pin. Hey, it's Nisha. I've been going through and finding some great jewelry I want to show you today. It all comes from garage sale season from last year. So let's go take a look. All right, let's take a look. Okay. So made within the last 20 years, a pretty, uh, design. I like the plastic beads on here and then the faceted, some of these are faceted plastic beads. All right, let's take a closer look. I like the pretty spacer beads. Uh, those are the plastic um, faceted ones I was talking about. Uh, plastic. Uh, they have a nice shimmer to them. And then we have little seed beads over here and then that the darker metal here, which is just the way it was made. And this little thing on the end is called a finding. So each manufacturer would have a different finding, especially for vintage pieces. So if you can learn that, you can spot it really quickly when you're out shopping. Okay, great piece. Oh, yeah, I fell in love with this. It's, it's not going to stay still. Oh, it's doing pretty good. So this looks like a vintage piece. We'll take a closer look. I love the uh, beads on here. The contemporary word for this is a station necklace. So each one is a little station. <laughs> um, I, I learned floating, um, but... I think station is more appropriate. All right. So I use this amazing tool called List Perfectly. And how I use this tool is I create one listing and then I use List Perfectly to cross list this listing to different platforms such as Poshmark, Macari, eBay and then for this piece this will go on Etsy because it's vintage and their definition of vintage is uh, 20 years. List Perfectly has allowed me to grow my business quickly and easily. All right so let's take a closer look. Isn't that great texture on the gold tone beads? Then we have uh, how they're combined here or linked together. Let's take a look at this clasp. Okay, so this is a hook clasp. It does have a manufacturer's mark maybe on here. Sometimes it might say uh, where it was made. So let's take a closer look. All right, so I use my loop. I keep them with me. I have one in my purse, one at home. Ah, <laughs> so it's Monet. And I laugh because Monet always has fabulous designs. And I find them very easily uh, where I live. And I would say this is a, a vintage piece uh, collar. All right, great. Okay, immediately I touched the necklace. The stones are cold to the touch. Just looking at it, it looks like hematite uh, stone to me. There, it's on a wire. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so this is a fish clasp. Sometimes these are made from sterling, which might be marked on the back, or 14 karat gold. If it was made from gold, it would be marked usually right here. Okay, so there's no marking there. It usually says 14K. This does look like sterling though. Let's take a look. Oh, 
Okay, I'm going to check that. It's not magnetic. So fine materials are not magnetic, but also aluminum is not magnetic and pewter. <laughs> so you got to do a scratch test to um, be sure what type of uh, metal it is. All right, so let's take a closer look at the stones. Okay. And then the fish clasp. Okay, pretty piece. Oh, this is lovely. So this is a, a vintage style chain. I, and for the likes of me, I can't remember what the name of it is. It's interesting. It has kind of a modern clasp on it. So it could be upcycled, meaning maybe they replace the clasp at some point. All right, so let's take a look. And then there's the uh, clasp. Yeah, I would still call this a, a vintage piece. It's not magnetic. Could be gold-plated. Okay, so I'm going to check this one out, too. Okay, this one's great. It has a beautiful shimmer to it. The is a plastic cabochon in the center. And has this lovely shimmer to it. It's got foil on the inside of the plastic, which is creating that shimmer. This open work here can be called filigree. We look on the back, it's definitely vintage. It's got this rivet right here. And then the technique to create the metal filigree is through um, repoussé, which is where you take metal and you pound it uh, against a uh, harder metal to create a pattern. Oh, just lovely piece. Okay. It does have some tarnish on it, so we'll just do the magnet test. <laughs> okay, it's definitely magnetic. Okay, I don't have to test that for um, silver. All right, cool. Now, generally, I don't pick up pocket watches, but every once in a while, I'll see one that I like the look of. Maybe it's in really good condition. But I don't really know much about them. <laughs> or maybe I'll look them up when I before I buy them. Google Lens is always a great tool. Like the etching here on the back. Let's see if I can show you the... Um, Now those hands, they look like gold to me. Let's look at that. There's a manufacturer. And let's see if I can get the back open. I fell in love with pocket watches when I was younger and I bought a gold filled one, a lady's um, pocket watch. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't want to end up damaging it because usually you can flip this open depending on the design. Okay, so I'll need to do a little research. And another tr thing to know is the ones that have the cover, when you close them back, you want to press on the knob and then close it with the lever press down and then once it's in place then you release the lever you don't want to hear that clack clicking sound what happens is you're damaging the um, me mechanism that uh, closes the pocket watch Ooh, this is interesting Ooh. like the finials on the bracelet it has a, like a brutalist style to it Look at that. like the texture. Okay, there is a name in here. Take a closer look at that. Hmm. Nice and heavy piece. 
It's like zenta. Zenta? Maybe another layer, a uh, word after that. Hmm. It's interesting. It has this yellow section on the center. All right, cool. So let's just do the magnet test. Okay, it is not magnetic. I will um, check it for silver, and I'll look up this brand since I'm not familiar with it. Uh, it's a neat design. Ah, we got a clamper bracelet. Is it a clamper or a... Uh, oh, no, it's a... Oh! <laughs> you <-hoo. laughs> <laughs> we like to find this. It's Sorworski. Yay! Isn't that pretty? So those are going to be crystals. And let's see. There is a lever here to open it. That's why I was looking for it to be a clamper where you just open it to place it on the wrist. But let's see. Ah, okay, great design. And that's always something good to look for is when it closes like that. It means it's a more valuable piece. Cool, yay! Oh, <laughs> this is so much fun. I love the dragonfly. Oh, it, it does have some damage. It, it looks like enameling. Yeah, enameling. It's missing one section. It is a pendant. So we can see the hook right here. And one of the wings is missing its green section right there. There's, let's look at the front. Okay, fun piece. All right. Ah, okay, so the classic um, bar brooch. And this is an older piece. Let's see, is that a real pearl on the inside there? Hmm, it does look good. Looks real. All right. It may not show on camera. And then there is the um, clasp on the back. And no manufacturer's mark. Hmm, interesting. It's not magnetic. I will test it for gold. I recently found out that um, some gold pieces are not marked, and those are older pieces before they started standardizing um, gold. Hmm, interesting. Okay, cool. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, this is pretty. Has some pretty glass beads. Maybe a sterling silver uh, clasp. Okay, it's ceramic first. So this blue bead here is ceramic. And I know that because it's cool to the touch, but also it has this glaze on it. See how shiny it is? And there's a texture, which let's see, I can show it to you in the loop. There we go. See that kind of dot stippling texture? That's an indication that it is ceramic. Let's see about these other beads, because I thought those were glass. When I look at a glass bead in the loop, I'm looking for little air bubbles. I'm thinking these are plastic. Not seeing anything. And then, ah, yeah, so the, the clasp is tarnished. It has that nice sterling silver look to it. And then right here, I'll show you closer up, it's marked 925, <laughs> so small. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Yep, 925. Okay, fun. 
All right, great piece. Okay, <laughs> like I having some great pieces to show you today. Okay, so this is a nice, heavy, dense bangle bracelet. There's no seams, which is another indication that it's an older piece um, or a well-made piece, too. Uh, some of the more inexpensive bracelets have a seam running through or a line. You'll see a line. And it has a nice weight to it. This is a, um, a lucite bangle. And that's why I picked it up, because they, they always sell really well for me. More of a bread and butter item, but um, people are always looking for well-crafted pieces. Meow. <laughs> for those cat lovers out there, including myself, here is your kitty cat pin. Yay. <laughs> it's cute. I like the design. We have the um, cut in, what is that called, in the metal. And then we have an older clasp here on the back. Yeah, it looks vintage. There's some tarnish. Let's do our little magnet test. It's not magnetic. Hmm, this is silver. Are you silver? All right. We're going to check. <laughs> now, again, I, this lot is very unusual. I'm picking up a lot of things I don't work with normally, but this was just such a lovely um, vintage hair clip. It has um, guilloche, oh, if I pronounce that right, enameling. And I'll show you a closer view. So what that means is... Oh, this is hinged. All right, so this moves. So guilloche enameling is where they cut a pattern into the metal, and then they lay the um, enameling on top of the surface. So this can be a mark of a higher quality piece because it takes more time. There we go. See that kind of shimmer look in the white section? That is lines and texture underneath uh, on the metal before they added the white on the surface. There you go. That's a better look. See those lines? Fabulous. Okay, just in case you needed a horse pin. <laughs> It's pretty. I like the way it looks. I like the saddle on there. And there's a manufacturer's mark on the back, so we'll take a closer look. I think it's Roman. Even though the R looks kind of not so R-y. <laughs> Is that even a word? I don't think that's a word. <laughs> uh. Oh, it is Roman. Okay. I'm not familiar with the brand. So a little research. And let's take a look just in case I... There we go. All right, great. Okay, got a ring. It's like a, a moonstone, but it's plastic. It has a fun look to it. I like how it catches the light. No markings on the inside. You always want to look on the inside of the ring here for markings. You know, and the stone's a little loose. I think I'm just going to put this in a craft lot. Okay, yeah. No, oh, wait a minute. Okay, you might have to get tested for a silver. Ooh. Fantastic. 
Look at that. There's the back. It is marked. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Do we have everything? Yep, it looks like all the stones are there. Okay, so it's a Kenneth Lane. Nice. I like that. Wow. You know, I never had a Kenneth Lane brooch before. So I have, I know that, you know, people collect them. And I'm always looking for them, but this is fun. And it's also in a Maltese cross shape. So you want to see how it has four points. You always want to um, look for pieces like that because they'll they can sell really fast, but depending on the designer. And then, ooh, 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 looky looky, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic! Oh, I'm almost tempted to keep this for myself. <laughs> It's so cool looking. I mean, the spider is so neat. I like the way it's designed with the, the rhinestones in there. Oh, wow. And this is an older piece. Oh, I see. Somebody clipped it on like this. So, so that's why we don't have the clasp down here. But definitely very vintage looking. So let's take a closer look. Oh, wow. And look at the shimmer. And then it's marked on the back. So this is looks older to me to the construction. The stones are foiled back. What happens with that is the light will go through the stone and then reflect against this foil back. Uh, you want to be careful how you clean these because if you get water back there, it can damage the foil. What does that say back there? What do you say? Oh, it says Czech. Oh, Czechoslovakia. So we have Czech crystals. Yay! Woohoo! And we have a cool spider pendant. Yay! Aren't you pretty? Oh my goodness, there's a whole bunch of things together. All right, let's take, we're going to take this one. So we have some, I think they're imitation. I'm going to look closer. Then we have our fish clasp, which is partially open. Look for that 14K. I don't see it there. And I don't see it there. Hmm. So all the pearls look pretty much the same size. They don't have, I'm doing my analysis to figure out if they're pearls or gener, uh, real pearls or not. They don't have an overtone. So an overtone is uh, a, a color on top of the, the base color. So the base color is the white and then the overtone could be pink, gold, or kind of a, an ivory color. And I'm not even sure that would show up on camera. And then the other thing I do is I look, they are hand knotted, but I look, try to look at the drill hole. You know, they look like plastic. So what happened, oh yeah, they're scratched. What happens is sometimes they'll make them out of glass and they'll have a coating on them and you can see the coating scratching off. And so that's an indication that they're they're fake pearls. So I'm not sure that's going to show up. So let's take a closer look at the scratches. So what I see is, I see where there's a scratch and then there's a color underneath. And 
it's the same thing with a drill hole. Uh, here's another clue. The beads have lines on the sides of them. <laughs> so that's another clue that it's an imitation. Okay. All right. So it's, it's a very pretty piece. Definitely still a keeper with, even with the wear. Ah, okay, what is this? Okay, so a, an, another station necklace. And then we have these rhinestones. I think that's called a bezel with a silver tone chain. lobster claw clasp just looking at it um, there's no tarnish really so I don't think this is vintage but it's a very pretty piece okay, okay. more is coming okay, <laughs> okay so it looks like it may be missing part of the chain or something. It's missing its jump ring here. And the clasp looks different than the rest of the chain. It's, it's a nice chain. I'm just gonna do a magnet test. That's not magnetic. And neither is the clasp. The clasp you know, it has this look to it that maybe it's gold-plated, maybe? I don't know. I'll have to check. The The rest of it, the chain, to me, looks like it's just a, a gold tone metal, meaning it doesn't have any fine materials in it. Ooh. Oh, fun. Okay, so this is an older piece. We have this beautiful tassel, and I love the chain. It has a shimmer to it. Wow, look at that. Wonderful weight to it. Most vintage pieces weigh more than pieces made in the last 20 years. See, Monet, <laughs> great design. Now, there are some high-end money pieces, but um, they aren't that common. So, um, but you, you always want to keep a lookout for them. They did have a, a line of fine jewelry pieces. Look at the tassel. Right, definitely a keeper. And here we have the same chain we had earlier. It just doesn't have a uh, clasp on it. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'd do with that. Might keep it in my section with chains for um, upcycling uh, necklaces when I have uh, loose pendants. Ooh, this is pretty. Wow. <laughs> now, to me, this looks like it might be real pearls because it has an overtone. I can see a pink color on top of this kind of bluish color. I don't know. It still could be imitation. So let's go through the paces here. We have a hang tag and a broken safety chain. Broken safety uh, or safety chain is many times indicate of a high quality piece, so you always want to look for those. Okay, so this is a this is a fake, so a really good fake, and it's, it's definitely worth getting. Okay, so I'm going to try to pronounce it. Majolica? 
Majorca? Majorca? Yeah, that's great. Okay. I, I'm vaguely familiar with this brand, so I have no idea. Uh, the clasp is 925. Gosh, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. I'm pretty sure these are imitation, but if you're familiar with the brand, let me know. I am super happy with all the pieces I got. Stunning vintage pieces, and this is just super fabulous. Wow, what a great piece. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to learn more about List Perfectly, check out this video. If you enjoyed the video, then give us a like and then hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.